so we put the volume fan right on that. The glue, the adhesive works much better when I added the humidity. So again, if you're having this issue, the main thing is have your nebulizer handy and, you know, just give a little couple seconds, boom. One, two, now you let go so it suctions it back up and when you go like this, you really should not even have any residue, but if you do, I give a lint-free two by two, can you see? And you're gonna just wipe clean and make sure it's clean because you do not want any glue. And if you do that, there should be no reason that you ever have your nozzle stuck. Always just. Go ahead. Right, so when you have one last, you're basically going in about two to three millimeters. You're gonna go in and I go out slowly and you almost don't even see any glue, okay? Now, if you were to go in really quick, now you see excess glue balls, right? You see that? You see that on there? Mm -hmm. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go in slower, or really, actually, you come out slower. When you come out slower, see that? No more glue balls. So, basically, just to go over it again, you go in slow, and you come out slow, really coming out slower is the most important part then you can go right to the lash and as long as that first two to three millimeters is touching that lash natural lash I put the lash extension backwards but you know what I mean we're gonna do it again okay so I'm just gonna do one lash for right now you see I kind of almost go on an angle, but you go in, come out slow, go right to the lash. As long as that first few millimeters has that direct contact, it's a solid bond. I'm going to put it on the lash that's going the normal way. Cause Are you ready? Uh-huh. So as long as this first part right here has a connection, you do not need any more adhesive. You don't need to swipe or swimmy. You just placed it down. If you want to hold it a second or two, it's fine. That bond, that first two to three millimeter, that's got the solid bond from the lash, ex lash extension to the natural lash is the most important part. Because I'm going to show you, the second you swipe or swimmy, what happens is, the two lashes, but I'm going to keep it so it's thicker and you can see it. When you go in, let's say I'm going to go, got a little extra right because I went quick. So if I'm going to go and now I swipe the lash, right, now I'm exposing that to air. And even though I place it down, and it may look like it's bonded, but because I, I interrupted the bond by swiping, that part of the glue got exposed to air that already started to dry the adhesive. So now, in a little bit of time, that part that you thought was a solid bond now has little areas that aren't a solid bond and you're going to cause have the client come back for a fill all of a sudden the lashes are all going to be lifted at the bases and that's because you swiped and that part was kind of dry already by the time you place that lash down that's why you get a lot of lifting at the base of the lash extension to the natural lash and you have to usually peel it off because you can't really cap that or stack that so when you come for a fill, if you do it this way, without um, swiping or shimmy, if you're just placing it, you really should get the lash retention to be as long as that lash is on its cycle. And if it starts to grow out, you just cap it, stack it, and you don't have to do, remove it because it's still solid. It's still good. These two, we're going to cap. Okay, so we're going to do one forward, one on top, and one underneath. 
and I just wanted to reiterate as well. Let's make pretend this is my little glue ring that I use on my finger, right? And we're going to take the lash extension and we're going to dip it in the adhesive only about one millimeter to three millimeters. Really, I just do about one. But if you feel a little that's too little, then you can go up to three. But do not go more than three millimeters in the adhesive. You're going to go in the adhesive and then not touching the sides, not, not wiping it. You're going to come out of the adhesive even slower. And then your adhesive is only on the first, you know, one to three millimeter of the lash. And you should not have any excess glue, glue ball, nothing on here. Okay, and then basically it's this amount that needs to be bonded with the natural lash. So as long as that right there, boom, see how this is going the first right onto the natural lash. Okay, so you can cap the lash. I'm going to show you. Hold on, let me just. You're going to take that once it has the glue and you're going to come on and then just boom. And then you capped the lash, right? Now, the other way to do it is you're going to come from underneath. So we're going to, let's say, dip it in the glue. We're going to come back out, right? And then we're going to come behind from underneath. And then now you're going to do it this way. And this way, maybe if you even did like a D curl, you can kind of lift that lash up. I mean, a C curl is going to lift the lash up too. But when you come from underneath, now you're going to kind of lift up that lash and give it a little lift. And that's how to cap a lash when it's grown out instead of removing it. But if it's loose at the base, then you're going to need to remove it because it's not going to be good for you to leave a lifted lash extension. And you don't want to re-glue it to get it down because that's not good. So you would have to remove it, any, any of the lashes that are lifted. And if you get lashes that are lifted at the bases, 9 out of 10, it's because you took your adhesive and swiped before you put the, glue, the lash down. Because when you swipe the lash extension that has adhesive on it, now you're exposing it to air, it's starting to dry, and by the time you get it down on that lash, it's not going to have a nice solid bond because you're going to have spots that are dry, spots that aren't, and it's not going to have an even bond and it's going to add stress to the natural lash and wind up doing a little bit of damage. Okay?